the air Overthinking but I couldn't care I'm running into walls that don't exist This plane has lasted hours These words they build like towers Two little brains much luckier than I Take me away where every day is stray All the people act so bland The food it tastes like sand They pour you a drink of water And you can barely think A daughter of a tired old man It's all I'll ever be Blink 300 times Rethink 300 rhymes Cause nothing works when you're dying on a plane All I can see is why Do we just run and hide But think in yellow and blow it all away Take me away Where every day is stray All the people act so bland The food it tastes like sand They drink of water and you can barely think a daughter of a tired old man it's all I'll ever be so you say I'm sweet I wish I didn't believe it so you think I'm weak I'll try to hide it better next time so you know I'm gone you just don't know where Like sand sounds like a wonderland. They pour you a drink of water, and you can barely think a daughter of a tired old man. It's all I'll ever be. So that first song, like I said, is called The Plane Song. Um, and I wrote it when I was on a plane on the way home and I was looking out the window over downtown Chicago. And as I was looking out the window, I was looking at all the little ant people, tiny uh, people below me, and I was thinking about their lives and how they could relate to me or others. And at first I thought positively, I was really just thinking about all their life experiences and then I started to think negatively and I thought about all the bad things that could be going on in their lives because of the way that the world has portrayed um, society today and that it's gotten so negative in terms of the news and just everything um, and that's kind of the whole inspiration for the song was the fact that people are thinking the same way I was thinking about the world which was negatively because of the bad things that are happening and we tend to um, when, we, when negative things happen, we immediately resort to just wanting a simpler and unproblematic and bland almost world instead of um, the more complex and problem causing world that we have today. And you know, I started to notice, we do live in a world of like extremes. Either we feel everything or we feel nothing. And I think that's what this song highlights is the fact that oftentimes, since we're so scared of the intensity of our own emotions, we choose nothing. And this fear that's based off of scaring or offending people with our words and thoughts often pushes us into silence. So instead of pursuing truth, we end up running from it. So, so yeah, that was plain song. Um, so the next song we're going to be singing is called Sunscreen. I'd been burned so many times I forgot the sun was a star You told me to come outside I didn't want to face the light But I get it now, it's Warm outside, I think you're my son, and I wanna leave my 
sunscreen inside oh. Oh, oh I can feel freckles on my face And I don't feel the need to try up is leaving behind and I thought I heard you say but I get it now it's warm outside I think you're my son I want to leave my sunscreen inside Come for me Wash away in the summer breeze Sweet lies Broken ties Gray sunflower seas Like I said, that was sunscreen. And this was written after I made one of my best friends now to this day. Um, and I was learning to open up again to a new friend uh, because of the trust that I had lost with other friends. Um, so it was a really neat experience for me to be able to open up to a new person and just finding that security again when before I had lost it. And it kind of just, the whole kind of idea of the song was just the fact that a special person or experience can get you out of this funk or a uh, way of believing that all people are and just that uh, you are able to change kind of, so. Um, and we all have irrational fears, you know, things that are illogical and can't necessarily be proved, but they dictate our actions in big ways. And that can be like sharks or alien abduction, or it can be like failure and rejection. But oftentimes these fears can make you smart and they can make you cautious, but even more likely they're gonna make you scared and unwilling to let positive experiences come into your life and change you for the better. So although you may potentially be able to block out some of the dark in your life, oftentimes you're just gonna end up blocking out most of the light too. So yeah, that was, um, like I said, it was uh, sunscreen. So the last song that we're going to be um, doing is called, um, I'm sorry, my brain, Unconditionally, Unconditionally thank you. And uh, yeah, it's going to be on piano instead of baritone ukulele this time. So I hope you all are excited, because I am.
that was the last song, um, Unconditionally, like I said. And this song was written uh, by the both of us on a Friday night after eating far too much Chinese food. Um, I know, very conventional. But uh, it's going to be probably one of the, my favorite and most special moments uh, so far, going in songwriting. I really appreciate the song. Um, because it kind of contradicts some of the other songs uh, that were also shown today in that it's showing that you can break your barriers and reaching out and being able to um, be confident in yourself and have that self-assurance that I am able to love unconditionally and that it's not wrong. It is, it's absolutely rightful and fair. And like, <clears throat> like Bay said, uh, the theme for this TED conference is reach. And I think both of our other two songs kind of talk a lot more about fear and how fear can hold you back from doing the things that you want to do. But I think it's also really important to remember how important it is to be able to reach and push back against those barriers, like Bay said, and pursue life on a deeper level that's beyond the surface and to do it unconditionally. Kind of like what Claire said, yeah, just breaking those fears and um, instead of setting limits for yourself, setting higher goals and higher hopes and dreams and all the other words that mean all the same thing. But just um, that you can reach your goals. Also, before we head out, um, I just wanted to make sure uh, y'all really listen up to these wonderful speakers that we have today. They all have such amazing messages to share and we're so proud of them. As Ms. Brandt said before we came out, uh, we've been working with the students since the beginning of the year and I couldn't be prouder. Their ideas are so broad and so beautiful, really. And they're doing the same thing that we're trying to do, which is to spread a message on a platform that's different than what we normally have every day, so. Exactly. One of the cool things about TED this year um, was that they told us that we would be performing and so we were super excited about it, but they didn't tell us that we couldn't do covers. Yeah, so we planned on later. doing covers of our favorite songs and they were like, oh, no, 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 you're doing originals. And we were like, oh. So it was okay. <laughs> it was definitely a challenge, but I couldn't be happier that it ended up this way. And this was this was our pushing out of our comfort zone. This yes. was our reach. This was our reach, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But, um, so thank you all so much thank for your you. time. Thank you. I really appreciate it.